In this example, we are going to undertake protein-protein docking. We need to read in three structures. The first one is the ligand. So we go to search and type 2Ci2. Press search. The second structure is the receptor, which is 2ST1. Press search. And the third structure is the complex, 2SNI. The complex is just for comparison of the docking results at the end. So we're going to rename these structures. If you right click on the name and press rename and, and type complex. The same with this one, right click and choose type receptor. And same with this one, right click, rename, and type ligand. Next, we have to convert all three files to ICM objects. To do that, right click on each one and select Convert PDB. Choose Optimize Histidines, Prolines, Asparagines, Glutamines, and Cysteines, and Optimize Hydrogens. Okay, once you have done that, you should see beside each object you should see ICM which means it's an ICM object and you can perform docking now. So now go to docking and all the protein protein docking menus are in this subdirectory here. So we set project and give the project a name. Press OK then go docking protein protein docking and then receptor setup and you enter the project name and the receptor object our receptor is called receptor so use the drop down button press receptor go OK now go to docking protein protein docking ligand setup the project name is pp dot um, the ligand object is a underscore ligand this one the reference object is the complex and just press OK. Okay, the next step is go to docking menu, protein protein docking and epitope selection. So this is where the docking is going to undertake. This is a, a region above the surface of the receptor and the ligand where the docking is going to be performed. So you can select regions on both the ligand and the receptor so the idea the the regions where it's going to dock are, are numbered and at the moment all of them are selected but it's generally not a good idea to, to dock to the whole um, ligand or uh, maybe it's best to just to re choose a, a, a selection and a, or a region on the protein and ligand and mo uh, most in most cases you know roughly how it's going to dock and where to choose and if you don't you could probably use the um, optimal docking area um, option that we have in, in ICM to predict this anyway to remove the selection just right click in and drag in black space and then you can see that the each number has a specific ball or sphere that you need to select so if we select 7 and 12 we take the atom picking button here and click on that and on that one and then press the apply button and see that they're, they're now yellow in color once you've done that press qu quit and now we need to do the same with the ligand so just click and drag in black space to get rid of the selections and then make new selections by clicking on where you think or you, the region where you want to dock press apply and then quit and then you're ready to go on to the next stage which is protein protein docking make receptor maps